All right, folks, hello and welcome back to another quick UE5 to, uh, short tutorial. And in this tutorial today, we are going to be doing a bit of Blender work and as well as Unreal Engine 5 work. So the reason for this to, um, kind of tutorial today is because this includes two different softwares, but, but they're both equally important. Like you're going to be using both if you're using Unreal Engine 5 and, you know, you're, you're actually you know, <laughs> doing any sort of work, you know, creating models and in meshes and whatnot, then you're going to be more than likely using Blender unless you're using some sort of paid um, 3D modeling software, in which case, you know, I can't really help you with that because I always, you know, recommend using Blender because it's free open source as well as it's the one that I'm actually familiar with. And so in this tutorial today, I'm actually going to show you how to fix uh, common issues that people tend to have with something known well, that uh, resembles an invisible face. So what do I mean by that? So here we have QBV2. Now, if you've been with me for a while, or at least a couple of weeks, then you know, you'll know you have remember uh, QBV1, which was the one that had to do with like uh, uh, faces of uh, different uh, materials on, on different faces of the same exact model. Okay, now for QBV2, we have something different, a different kind of issue. So you can see we have all the faces, uh, you know, shown here. I mean, this is clearly a cube, you know, um, except when we go over here, then all the faces sort of turn invisible. And at this angle, it literally looks like a plane. Like if I was to look at this plane here, right, if I'm looking at this plane and I'm looking at from this angle, this looks like a plane. And the reason is because the normals are backwards. And as you can see here, even from this kind of angle, we're literally looking at nothing like I mean, you just, I mean, straight up, this is like some advanced cloaking system straight out of Mass Effect. Now, if we're going to fix that, what we need to do is make sure we um, do it inside of Blender. So, you know, this is like an example of if you were to uh, create something in Blender and then you uh, export it from Blender, import it into UE5, and then you have this issue, right? So you're automatically going to have the mesh available, you know? So then what you would do is you would just open it up uh, back in Blender. So if I was to go to import FBX QBV2, we have our cube. And now uh, just as, um, well, unlike in Unreal Engine, we can clearly see all five faces, well, um, all six faces. And so to turn on um, a sort of a special view mode that enables us to actually see the faces, we have two different ones. OK, and, and one is called uh, face orientation and the other is called backspace color. So uh, real quick, in Unreal Engine 5, this is essentially, uh, well, this is literally backspace color. And by that, in, if the face is, well, if the normal is backwards, it's um, invisible. And so if I was to turn on backspace color inside of uh, Blender, to do that, you would just simply um, click on this shading thing here and then go down to options backspace color. And as you can see, just like in Unreal Engine 5, we have all the faces visible till we get to a certain point and now it looks invisible. Here we have again the plane and now fully invisible. I mean, this is literally how it works. And so this is back face calling. This enables you to tell um, right off the bat that, you know, something's not right here. But the problem with this one, well, there's no real problem with it. It's just for a lot of beginners, they sort of get confused because they're like, well, you know, I thought the faces, I you know, I think only have one issue you know, at least uh, an issue with only one face. But then, you know, they're like, but the whole thing turns invisible. So now, you know, they don't really know what to do about it. And it kind of scares them. <laughs> and so the other method, the more user friendly method, at least a beginner friendly method is um, called face orientation. And to do that, you activate overlays and go to face orientation. Now, it's basically uh, blue and red and red is obviously means it's backwards. So, you know, this is the face that is always invisible. Um, and if we were to go inside of the cube, you could see that the other faces are now red um, when we're inside the cube. And this explains why when we're looking through that one face, why the entire mess can therefore turn invisible because we're looking at the back uh, of the normals. And so to fix that is actually quite easy um, because real quick, a face has two sides, you know, you're going to have the outside and the inside. So you always want your um, normals to be blue, okay, because this means that the normals are set correctly. Now, the only time you would have the faces set outwards is if it was not going to be visible in any way, shape, or form. Um, 
And by then, I mean, you wouldn't even have to, but let's just say you just didn't feel like fixing it. You know, if it's never going to be seen, like if this box is just going to remain on the ground, right, then as long as that face that is technically backwards is on the ground, then there's no issue with it. But, you know, it's just, especially as a beginner, you want to get into the habit of fixing all the issues. That way, you know, you're not um, growing in a habit into, you know, letting things be because um, you really want to 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 strive for the highest quality uh um, models as you can create. And so, you know, talked a bit about it long enough, really went into details about how it works and whatnot. And so to fix it, all we have to do is essentially um, click on, well, actually, you know, I, I do want to show this one point. So if I was to actually go up to overlays as well, and I was to um, be in edit mode, you have to be in edit mode and then go on overlays. And, you, and if you click on something called normals, and you want to click on um, display normals and it says display face normal as lines. Here you can see, we can't really see much, but you can see like a little blue line there, nothing there, a little blue line there. But if we were to sort of increase this size, now we can clearly see what's going on, right? So that means that this face is facing that way. And you can tell because that's where the blue line is facing, right? And so if we're if we were to look inside of this face, that means our blue line is going to be like here inside the uh, the box. And as you can clearly see, we are correct about that. And the reason why is because that is the that is the direction that this uh, that the normal of this face is is facing. That's what these blue lines represent. And so if you're, I mean, honestly, if you're using um, face orientation view um, overlay. You know, I mean, you can obviously tell because it's red, but I guess there's that's just like an additional third way of viewing your normals. Um, we can actually go ahead and turn it off because really no need it because we already have, you know, something telling us that the normal is backwards. So to fix it, <laughs> to finally fix it, you want to be in face select mode and then just simply select the, uh, the face. Now you have two options. You can either press alt um, in and then, you know, go to um, flip. And we're good to go. Or you could go, make sure you have the face selected. Go to face. Actually, go to mesh. Go to normals, and then just clip. Uh, you can either choose like flip if you know, um, you know, a simple flip will fix it. Or if you want to like, I don't know, like do like the entire mesh. You can do uh, recalculate outside, and you know it'll just recalculate it outside uh, to the best of its ability. Now, if we were to look at it, now the entire thing is blue. So now for it to turn on back face color, the mess is visible from all angles. And if we were to go inside, the mess is visible from no angle. And again, we already know why, because that's literally uh, the back of the normals, which is perfectly fine. Because again, if it's going to be, um, if the, if you want the red side of the face to be where the, where the um, user or at least the camera will never actually show it. So obviously inside of a mesh or at the bottom, if like if it's, if it's a box on the ground and then, you know, the part of the box is touching the ground, you can leave that um, that normal flip as well as obviously you want it to be inside of the model because, you know, <laughs> if you have a box, then the user is not ever going to be able to see um, inside of the box unless it's an open box. Then you would actually have to use um, you know, a thicker box, and then you would have this. It's <laughs> that's so on topic. Um, regardless, this is how you fix it. It's it's pretty simple, easy fix. I just really want to go into detail about what it is that you're looking at. You know, multiple ways of actually viewing it, and you know how to uh, check that is uh, working. And so now that we flip the the uh, face, the the normal specifically, now we can go to export. We can even use our saved export settings. Um. Let's just call this um, QV V2, actually QV V2, um, V2. So it's a V2 of the V2. Excellent. And we got U4 static mesh, export. We go here. Now, if I was to go to import, QV V2 V2, import, drag it out. Let the shading uh, shaders apply. We're good. And as you can see here, now the mesh is visible from all faces. So, so that's good how you go ahead and fix invisible faces um, inside of Blender and as well as Unreal Engine 5. So hopefully you learned something 
in this tutorial. I mean, this is definitely very useful because quite often I'll have imported a house and be like, where is my door? Or, you know, like, I'll just have some sort of signing just completely gone, you know, AFK and it's just like invisible. And, you know, that's it's a simple fix um, when you know how to fix it. But if you don't know how to fix it, it can definitely be troublesome. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial um, as well as my other tutorials, because I really do try to, you know, provide some useful information as, as quickly and as efficiently as I can. With that said, you know, best of luck in your UE5 endeavors. And I'll leave you to the rest of your project. And as always, the reason why I create these kinds of videos and tutorials is because it's difficult out here when you don't know what you're doing. And, you know, life's difficult enough. There's no need for the for the fake life of, you know, <laughs> the world of 3D art to be as difficult as the real world. You feel me? Even though technically it can be, but that's why I make these tutorials to, you know, help people out. And at least, you know, as often as I can. But with that said, I'll actually shut up and let you get to work. <laughs>